Yo, yo, this is your boy Tarif Knockout. You're now tuned in to Hip Hop Tallahassee. Bunch of war daddies coming for more natties. Welcome to Tallahassee, aka the title town. And you know we run the state and giving up the crown. It's not your you have to be, you have to be visible online to get looked at offline. That's, um, that's how I look at it. So, you know. What's your Tallahassee story? Um, you know, born and raised here. Yeah. Uh, Tallahassee love for sure. Uh, I went to Lincoln. I yeah. graduated from Lincoln. Uh, uh, what about tell us about that basketball? I heard you was a beast out there. <laughs> yeah, man. man. Uh, Lincoln uh, High. Lincoln Trojans for yeah. sure was all Big Ben. First team, my junior year and senior year, you know, 06, 07. Wow. Uh, got what a you couple, play? Uh, point guard and okay. shooting guard. So I got a couple records. Uh, I had the all time career record for most threes made um, in the season yeah. and in a career. So wow. I, was out there, I was out there getting buckets. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can somebody see you on the court right now? I mean, uh, would they want to see you? Man, I'm pretty washed now. <laughs> I, can't, I think it's uh, it's one other artist on uh, hip hop Tallahassee. Uh, I think it's Jag Jago World or something like that. Oh, Jango. Yeah, Jango World. I think he he, okay. would, he be out on the court. I seen okay. him. A, yeah, I don't maybe, know maybe we, Huh? I don't hoop anymore. Oh, really, okay. Yeah, but I, I'm, uh, actually, <laughs> maybe we can actually, pull you out of retirement a little bit. Maybe, huh? maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Get that hip hop Tallahassee basketball tournament going. For sure. So, <laughs> so. Tariq Knockout, we just going to jump right in, man. So, Lethal Simplicity. Tell me about it. Uh, I mean, how did you come up with the concept? I mean, I've, I've seen on the, the screen it's nearly 40,000 hits. You heard the streets talking about this ESPN contract. <laughs> I mean, can you can you shed a little light about Lethal Simplicity? Uh, no doubt. Uh, you know, lethal Simplicity came about uh, just over the summer before Florida State was playing. And, uh, oh yeah! <laughs> Keep coming in. Thank you. Where we at? Momo, all right. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, Lisa Simplicity was a you know, concept I came up with this summer, uh, 2018, uh, just for my love for Florida State football, and uh, you know I wanted to do something to you know to usher in the Tiger era, and uh, I reached out to my guy Dozakis, uh, who produced the track, and we, you know we sat at his crib and they came up with some concepts for it, and uh, I was already like having some ideas with it, but you know he really came out with that. Play by play with the voice, Gene Deckerhoff. Who got a swagger like state? You can't knock us off. Pack the garnet pants, that's word to the marching chiefs. I'm just a voice for the fans, no nation deep. Garnet and gold, Seminoles filling up these seats. You hear that war chant? You know the legends who ball on every Saturday. This feel just like a matinee. Under the lights, new chapter to our history. Florida State Dynasty forever in our memory. Thing, man, you know, can you help a, can you help some a brother out? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, if, what can you give? If I don't know, you know, if we respect your business, but uh, how did the ESPN thing went down for you? How did that contract go down for you? Um, did you reach out to them or um, somebody hooked it up? What was the, what was what's the story behind that? Oh uh, yeah, basically, you know, um, ESPN reached out to me. Uh, before the Virginia Tech game this year uh, for Florida State, Virginia Tech, and I got an email. Um, it was offered, you know, opportunity to have my music played on national television, and uh, you know that's just you know something. How did they get the music? How did they find you? I really have no idea to be honest. Really? Yeah, wow. I mean it was it was doing real well online, like Twitter, um, you know, YouTube, and everything like that, and it had a when lot. When did of you buzz. notice that? When when did you notice like oh this some some special was happening to this song. Uh, what was that moment? What was that moment? You saw something on Twitter or number yeah. what? What, what well, was when, that moment? Yeah, when Snoop Menace, uh, he a former player for Florida State, you know, no legend in my okay. eyes. Yeah. Once he was like riding around in his whip playing it and shout out to Snoop. Yeah, shout out to Snoop. Um, you know, that's when it kinda of took off. And then you know Coach Taggart and the team started playing it in practice. So the, the first week of fall camp, you know, they was playing Lethal Simplicity. Uh, as they was warming up and you know, doing their drills, um, 
So it definitely caught their attention. Wow. And uh, you know, did you know Snoop? I mean, I didn't you know had connected no, with him. Nah, or? I don't know Snoop. You know, personally, I never met him. Snoop Menace that we're talking about. Yeah, 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 y'all. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's so like, oh, Snoop Dogg. Uh, yeah, Snoop Menace. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. So, yeah, you know, once that happened and Coach Taggart, you know, they was playing the song, and that's when I knew, like, you know, we might be on to something. I knew that had to be something. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but so, it's, I mean, it's an incredible feeling, you know, just yeah. to show the hard work, you know, that I've been putting in, and, uh, and just because, you know, my love for Florida State. Could you talk a little bit about it? I know it's sometimes the, the, the very simplest thing that we do naturally yeah. is you, not really. That's simple. simple to people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You would think. So, like, what can you maybe go through the process of, of of saying, like, okay, you saw the show was coming in town, and so you said, I'm going to. Yeah, basically, work. that's. I mean, anytime you, you're trying to book a show or have a, a show opportunity, you know, it always comes down to the artist. And um, you have to make the initiative, and that's what I did. Making the initiative as an artist is first and foremost the most important thing. It's your, it's your career. It's, you know, it's my career. That's how I look at it. That is my career, and whatever happens, a dictate that's gonna happen. It come down to me first. Um, so, if if you're an artist trying to come up and and you you're on the outside looking in, sort of say, it's uh, it come down to you first. You know, in these shows, you know, I open for KRS One. Um, uh, back in March, uh, Yin Yang Twins recently, I had a show with uh, Juice World and Kevin Gates, but uh, Hurricane Michael, you know, uh, postponed it, and now I, I feel like that would have been a you know a big break for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with, uh, with, yeah. But so how are these are are you making an initiative to get on these shows? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I think that's key. Yeah. You know, yeah, Cat Fest, yeah. Cat Fest, Cat yeah, Fest 2018, okay. yeah, yeah uh, so with Cat Family Records. So you kind of be involved on that, that whole look over there. Yeah, just, um, you so know. So how do you, that was something um, just by you being out and about, people noticing you, that's right. how that developed? Yeah, that's all it went, that's all, that's basically how it went, you know, just going going out to shows, and, you know, just, um, con you know, staying consistent with my product, you know, continues putting out music, yeah. you know, staying on, staying on social media, you know, promoting and just, uh, you know, having to create a package, you know, um, you have to be, visible, you have to be visible online to get looked at offline. Gotcha. Um, and that's how I look at it. So, you know, uh, you got to make it happen. So you, you made that. So what are you doing? Are you calling? You're emailing? Uh, what are you doing? You reaching out to a buddy who got to connect with that person. What are you doing? Like, say, um, um, one of your last shows. You know, what are, what are you doing? What's your method? Um, like my method again. You know, or, you, or do you paying you 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 bringing the money back to him? I mean, what, what's nah, going nah, on? I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't pay to play. <laughs> if you ever see me doing a show, I did not pay to play. You know, these are these are shows where promoters. And people have contacted me to do a show, and it just basically, you know, hitting up the venues and seeing what's going on. You know, if you reach out via email, you know, call. I mean, it's yeah. all, it all come down to that, and you know, they just want to see you putting in the work. But yeah. um, you know, cold calling, cold calling, maybe not be effective. You know, yeah. uh, you know I've been on the Tallahassee music scene now for two years strong, just uh, consistently coming here, going there. Just knowing people, I mean, because it's a few promoters here uh, in town and, and venues that, that book shows. And it's just all up. Again, it all come down to the artists what they trying to put in. Yeah. That's how I feel. You know, if I if I'd have been sitting around waiting for somebody to book me a show, I'd still be where I was at in 2016, okay. which was not going anywhere. So uh, yeah, do you see a lot of? Do you you think that's a lot of the problem with, when when you hear artists? that um, make the issue about, you know, Tallahassee don't be showing me any love. Or yeah. You think that's a lot of it? You know, like, artists is not knowing how to move, you know, make moves. And, yeah, that's... And talk to people. And, that's what it is. That's what it goes down to, you know. Not, I study music business at Full Sail. Um, okay. So I, I went to Full Sail for, for a year, 2013 through 2014. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I got to grasp some of the industry a lot. 
and you know the ins and outs of how things work. And um, that's that's what it come down to. A lot of people don't have knowledge. They may have the talent or the music knowledge, but again, it's a, this is the music business. So you have to conduct it as a business. You have to yeah. treat yourself as a business entity because that's what you are if you're trying to make it in the music game. And yeah. uh, for me, you know, that's that's what it's all about. It's certain levels. And, you know, if, if somebody just want to rap for their family and friends, that's cool. Yeah. If you want to be on SoundCloud, that's cool, too, and build up a fan base. But <laughs> as far as marketing yourself and becoming, uh, you know, a household name, a, a local name, a, a national name, a regional name, um, it all come down to... Yeah, I, I could tell you got the marketing down a little bit. Yeah, but... I could tell if you, you... I mean, even today, look. He, he know, you know, because yeah. this video once we load it up, who knows where it go and who what we're gonna see. It. For sure. And so you, they want to know, they want to have a way yeah. where you can connect them to the brand. Yeah, branding is, branding is key. Yeah. Um, you know, 2018, the year we in, it's almost over. You know, 2019, yeah. um, branding yourself is, you know, in this market is the key. And uh, you know, that's what I kind of found, you know, in my brand. So you know, most of my brand people know, you know, Florida State football. They yeah. connect that with that. Let's talk about that. Um, your connection with Florida State, because I was putting some people on to you. Yeah. They immediately like, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of your alumni, so. Okay, yeah. They're like, man, what's, what's up with this dude with, you know, with the Florida, Florida State paraphernalia? He's rocking Florida State all the time. Can you give him a little connection about your connection with Florida State or Tallahassee, you know, maybe... Help them understand what what what's the what's what's going on with uh, Toledo knockout with uh, Florida State. For sure, you no, know, just you know, my love from Florida State. You know, go back to when I was a kid. You know, my dad played you know, basketball at Florida State. Who's your father? Uh, Thomas Mabry at the time. There you uh, go. That's Tariq <laughs> Abdul Aziz now. Uh, so you know he was you know he played eighty four to eighty six. No, uh, I know Tariq. For real? Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's my. Wait father. a minute. <laughs> oh. My. Yeah. Oh wait, wait a minute. He was a. Oh wow. You dropped something on me, man. Okay then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was like a mentor for me, man. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's my pops, man. Uh. Wow. <laughs> I'm blown away. I'm blown away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He ball. He good, good brother. Yeah, good brother. For sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my pops. So yeah, he who. Yep, yep. <laughs> and uh, just like um, the FSU, so you know, that's basically when my love came. My mom graduated from FAMU, so you know I got love for FAM as well. And it, it's all it's bigger for Florida State than me, so I don't want people to view me right. as a as a gimmick, but just a, a Florida State, you know, rapper. Right, you know, right. Because that's not what it is. Because I noticed I listened to um, your album uh, Majority. Majority decision. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, I was like, man, he got so much more in his music Word. than just, of course, I guess the biggest record is going to sometimes try to label you in a certain lane. Yeah. But I saw that, yeah, you were talking about um, a lot more. I love that song, Crack is Whack. Uh, for sure. You know, I love that record, man. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, yeah. Um, that was 2016. I know. Yeah, majority decision, 2016, you know. Leave the Simplicity came out this year, 2018. So just the growth, you know, as, as an artist um, and mm -hmm. as a person in general. Uh, so I'm very appreciative for you know the support I got for Leave the Simplicity. But at the same time, I want I want people to realize and recognize that No happy meals, a drive by killed up McDonald's, black funerals endorsed by your tax dollars. They rather bury you than send your black ass off to college. Off to college. Nancy wears a core your pearls to match her leave of purses. Obtain this street knowledge, but we still ain't found no purpose. Sound no call that shit in never did. I heard I heard a couple of rappers talk about how they love that that, that uh, logo you got right there. Is that yours? Or? Yeah, this mine, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh what's what's the kind of stuff with that? What? Um a local rapper, um, you know, came about um it was an article written in the fam you and um a couple years ago uh because i i'm a domestic violence uh activist in the community so uh for Whoa. teens and teens and healthy relationships so Whoa, yeah. i did a song for uh the dvcc community here uh domestic violence coordinating council um, so i do stuff like that but i was at an event for them and the girl who wrote the article you know she 
she called me a local rapper. And, you know, it was like, it was funny. But it was, I mean, it's true because I'm from here. Yeah. But I didn't want, it's like I didn't want to be labeled as that. Um, and I still don't. Right. But, you know, everywhere, anywhere I go, you know, I'm going to be considered a local rapper. So if I'm in Tampa, if I'm in Atlanta, you know, if I'm in New York, California, at that time, I'm going to be a local rapper. Um, so that that's just kind of where the whole concept of local rapper came about. And it's just a play on words. And I just kind of ran, just kind of went went with it. Um, in the grand scheme of things, we all local rappers. Uh, you know, anybody who started off was a, was a local rapper. T Pain was a local rapper before he blew up here. Um, you know, Kendrick was a local rapper in Compton before he he blew up. You know, Jay Z, etc. I, I was um, some people. It's money in local. It's, it's money in local cities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why that's why you see major companies that's in your local town, right? Mm -hmm. I think that local really it comes from the word locality. You know right. what I'm saying? So um, um, I, I just want to I hopefully encourage our artists that um, don't miss the money that's right here. Yeah. You know, we just need to, you just need to, every city is different. So you got to kind of learn how, how your city runs right. and, 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 and try to find a way to tap into it. And I, I agree. I, I don't think, don't lock, get locked in mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, the Congress is, is going uh, global. The market is going global. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything right there on your phone. You sure. can go anywhere in the world oh, yeah. on your phone. So we understand that. But the hardware and the brick and mortar, there's a lot of money right. being made off of hip hop right here in Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. If y'all paid attention to uh, FAMU uh, Homecoming, you know, uh, 2018 family homecoming money ate hey, some money was made on hip hop and my thing was is I don't I don't know how many of, of our, <laughs> our own upcoming local per se local artists was getting that there yeah. were people coming in and getting yeah. it yeah. and that's what we're trying to change uh, oh, yeah. are, are we going to get a, a song for the basketball <laughs> hey, come on man yeah, you, you missed the basketball it's Word, word. You gotta give us one. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm putting in a request, fam. I see. <laughs> we yeah. need one. We Shine need one. Coach Ham, you know, yeah. Hoops team. They, can we the, get one? Boy, ball. I might. Yeah, I might see what I can do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. um, it look like what you think? They got a good shot this year. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, they got a good team. You know, made it to the Elite Eight last year. Uh, they they played today actually at uh, two thirty. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he got a Speak it up, yeah he got a real good team. Um, but yeah, I'm yeah. just seeing. And that's the thing, like Coach Hand, you know, they've been consistent over time. Yeah. And he, he's built his brand up. So Shout out to Coach Hand, because yeah. I, I ran to him to, in the grocery store some years ago. He was just the coolest dude, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, I appreciate you coming out. We definitely want to end uh, on a good, uh, what you got going on right now, what you're pushing, and that's definitely his new single, Clarity. Hot Tallahassee, what's up? It's, it's Marshall Hill. Lord, I need some clarity. Nah. Peace, yeah, love, and prosperity. Nah. With the fame, cause popularity. Nah. Evil ones that breed jealousy. 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 Lord, I need some clarity. clarity. Peace, love, and prosperity. Nah. With the fame, cause popularity. Nah. This weekend, you gon' remember me. Remember me. Man of the century, where's my cover on time? Uh, can to these mediocre minds, I'm like, like a young Einstein the song. with no cosign. Um, I, I, I thought that was a very interesting hook word. to clarity, you know, yeah. even the word itself, and which is very timing to me uh, mm -hmm. with so much in our social media time. Everything is going so fast, Every, the, the attention span is so, you know, here, one minute, here, they're throwing this to a minute. Um, what was your motivation behind that song? I mean, to, to write. Uh, yeah. what, what inspired you to write that? Basically, uh, like with that, um, the motivation behind clarity. Uh, I was listening to some beats, and you know, I was like, man, I, I need some clarity. Shout out to your producer. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Donato, Who did that? Uh, Donato beats. Uh, okay. That's my homie out of Connecticut. Um, okay. He got a couple, a couple of cuts that's gonna be on the album. Okay. Coming out, but uh, you know, clarity was gonna be the first single, and uh, like like you said, just you know, being in a zen like mind, you know, searching for clarity through this, you know, it's chaos out here and. Um, 
at the same time, it's like, you know, peace, love, and prosperity, you know, that's, yeah. that's what we all, those three components that we all can, you know, search for. Can you and, give us one of the lines, a line in that song? Can you give us? Uh, uh, man of the century, where's my cover on time? To these mediocre minds, I'm like a young Einstein. So, uh, you know, right there. <laughs> You know, that line basically was like, uh... Oh, so you Kanye West? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> young Einstein? No, no. Uh, you know, just um, no. a young Einstein, you know, uh, man of the century, the yeah. Time Cover magazine. And uh, so I was like, to these mediocre minds, I'm like a young Einstein. So the people who can't grasp, you know, what I'm talking about, you know, to, to them I might seem like Einstein, which is so yeah. abstract and to a genius form, to some things that they can't even relate to. But with clarity, I feel like that's something we all can, that we're all seeking and searching for, peace, love, and prosperity. And uh, at the same, on the flip side, you know, it's going to be evil ones that, that try to, you know, breed jealousy upon what, what I'm working on. Um, so that's all it was, asking Lord for you know, clarity on the, the path and the direction, you know, that, that my music is taking. Uh, yeah, I mean, the best advice I can give, you know, up-and-coming artists that's, no seeking, licensing, uh, do you know, entertainment, uh, television, you know, ESPN, MTV, ABC shows like that. You know, most important thing is to have your music published where you can have it on iTunes and Spotify and uh, all these uh, you know streaming services. Because if you just as a quote unquote SoundCloud rapper or artist, you know they can't officially offer you a licensing. Uh, monetizing your music is the most important thing now in this music industry. Uh, streams, YouTube, uh, Apple, Spotify, you know, getting paid yeah. for what you do. Yeah. So it's all up, it's all up to the artists as far as, you know, what type type of work, work ethic, you know, and what they want to put in mm -hmm. into it. I'm an assistant coach in a, a youth league right now. Okay, what's the team? Give them a shout out. Uh, the shout out to the Bulls, you know. <laughs> we over at Jack McClain. Shout out Outlaw Beats, you know, holding it down as the yeah. head coach. Uh, so what's I'm up? out there, you know. The season started in January, so, so I'm excited. It's just giving back to the community. Right. You know, I, I love doing that, you know, because right. I, remember, I remember being in their shoes, and I still remember coaches. Know, having an impact on my life, you know, that kept me going down the right path. So, yeah. whatever I can do for these kids, you know, they're eight to ten years old. Um, that's that's the way I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do it. Um, just you know, to leave an impact on yeah. them. Like, yo, I remember Coach. You know, he was real cool and you know, helped me out. Yeah. And if I see them down the road, you know, they gonna them, hopefully they thank me for being the coach for them. Let me ask: Has any of that experience or athletic experience? And discipline kept any of that transferred over to your music career? Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. In what way? Like, I mean, music, music and sports correlate. You know, they go hand in hand, really. Um, just about the mindset and the work ethic. Uh, so you know, I took that um, coming from the ground up, and I look at it more musically. It has helped me out because I'm I'm kind of like by myself. Um, it's an individual being a, an independent artist. Um, you know, I, I don't have a team really, so it all comes down to me first. You know, for me to make things happen. And uh, so, yeah, sports. You know, it's all about what I put in. Yeah. Um, same thing with music. You know, you get in what you, whatever you um, put yeah. in is what you're gonna get out. Gotcha. So, yeah, so it's definitely help. So you, so uh, how would you? You don't have when you say you don't have a team. Like, uh, so this is you doing the rollout. Yeah. Doing the pushing. Um, you was on recently on what? What's the blogs that you just got recently covered on? Uh, for clarity, uh, Rapzilla, um, great get money blog. Um, man, I gotta probably look now. Cause it was, uh, See, but my point is, I guess, but you, 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 you behind this. You don't have a, a whole. The publishers, a, nah. a manager, the produce section. Yeah, shout out them. Yeah. Um, yeah, shout out all the blogs. You know, everybody yeah. showing love to Clarity right now. Um, on the Spotify playlist, uh, I was featured yeah. on there. On one of the one of the, uh, my nice size Christian like yeah. uh, playlist. And it's funny because you know, I'm a Muslim artist, but yeah. it's the irony of that. You know, it was a clean song. Okay. But um, yeah, not having no team, 
No, really. Um, I don't have no yeah. publicist, no uh, no backing manager, no booking agent. Uh, you know, really, it's, it's me. What encouraging words or guidance would you give to an artist who feel like, um, you know, they're just looking looking for a break, you know, looking for a break? What I'm sure you've been there, too, you know? Yeah, and I, I never got down. Um, the, the key thing for artists, you know, coming out to the shows, that's happening within the local community. Um, Say that again. If, if you Face call. Yeah. Come out to the shows that's happening right here in your town is, is one of the key components to trying to get on. You know, if you're behind the keyboard, you know, uh, Sam, you know, this not fair, this not right, but you're not actually live in person. The best way to network is to meet people in person. Um, it's, it's much more, you know, it's a... It's a more natural feeling, and it's just better to come off that way if you, you know, trying to up and come in the game. And that's all I did. I started coming out to shows, you know, meeting different artists, and I've always had the vision in mind for what I was trying to achieve. Even though it's bigger than Tallahassee, but you got to start here. If that's yeah. if this where you at, you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Last minute shots out to you. Oh uh, no! Shout team, out. Uh, oh, you are the team. <laughs> hey, I, got, I got a squad. You know, they know who they are. You know, shout out. Uh, shout out. You know, everybody tuned in. Hip hop Tallahassee. Shout out my man Marshall right here. Yeah. Uh, Momos. We in the building. Yeah. We're down so, right now. For so. Uh, Shouts out to TJ DJ. Oh yeah. TJ yeah. Joplin, man. Big up. Big up. Big up. Popularity. Evil ones that breed jealousy. Jealousy. Lord, I need some clarity, clarity, peace, love, and prosperity, with the fame, cause popularity, this weekend you gon' remember.